everybody, Brian Miller, the Small Town Movie Watcher. This is my second try on making this video because when I was doing it originally, the first time, I was interrupted by the phone. Stupid phones. So anyway, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher, and I just got done watching Kubo in the Two Strings, rated PG. Uh, animated movie brought to you by a really good Japanese animation company that I can't think of. Man, I am just batting a thousand today. Anyway, so this movie is about Kubo and his and he tells stories with a guitar. Uh, and he has this cool power that as he's telling these stories that paper folds itself origami style uh, to help with his storytelling. So, Kubo is actually in hiding. Uh, he and his mother are hiding from his grandfather and his aunts on his mother's side um, because they stole his eye. Uh, in the end, it ends up that Kubo needs to protect this community that he tells stories to uh, and ends up going on a quest so that he can protect them. Uh, along the way in his quest, he's joined by a monkey, and he's joined by a giant man-sized beetle. Uh, so, and during this quest, Kubo is going to learn about family and teamwork and what it means to um, stick up for those that you love and are loved by. Um, so, what are the good parts of this movie? I thought that this movie, this it's a stop motion movie, this movie was done absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, stop motion animation, claymation, it takes a long time to make. Um, and because you have to, it, it's a picture. Every time you move the character, you take a picture. So... You know, to take five steps doesn't mean that the character takes... You take five pictures of the character, but you might take 20 pictures of the character over the five steps. So it's a time-intensive process, and this is just beautifully done and captured. I really enjoyed it. Um, so... I think that that was really good. The animation, the scenery was beautiful. Uh, the music in the background was great. Um, the other things that were good was that um, the voice acting was good. The story was good. Um, there was an outcry from some people, West Coasters, that were flummoxed by the facts that The entire voice cast was done by... Maybe not the entire voice cast, but the main voice cast was done by Americans. Um, primarily white Americans. And it goes back to this whole whitewashing of um, characters that could have been African American, Asian, um, Hispanic, you know, something, you know, that could have been written differently for those characters. But they chose to go with white Americans. It's an animated movie. To me, <clears throat> that's not a big deal. I don't care. It's an animated movie. If this was live action, yes, I'd, it'd be a different story. And it should be done with Asian actors. But this was an animated movie, so I don't care. I thought that the voice acting was great. Especially the kid who did Kubo. You know, he's got a lot of lines, so the fact that it's just so well presented by him was great. Um, the, like I said, the animation was good. The scenery was great. Um, painstakingly done. There's this part that takes place on the long lake that takes place, and that whole scene is really, really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then there's this fight in a forest. That's great fight in a cave. That's wonderful. So, again, just really great. Um, so, what was bad? It, honestly, 
I don't think that there really was anything that was bad. Maybe the only thing was is that it was a really quick movie. It was like an hour 20. Um, but again, claymation, stop motion is very, very, very um, meticulous. And that you can't do a short scene of five steps and take five pictures. You have to do, it's five steps, but it's probably going to be 20 pictures. So there's that. Um, so it was a short movie, but again, you got to remember that it was stop motion, claymation, animation. So it was good, really good, really, really good. Um, so, should you see this movie? Yes, you should see this movie. I think you should rush out right now, or you don't even have to rush anymore. You can get it on your favorite video on demand service, Google Play, the iStore, um, where else can you, uh, Amazon, probably on your cable provider or satellite provider, you can probably get it right now. Uh, this was an excellent movie and I think it's worth your time to see. So, um, with that, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher, and I just got done watching Kubo in the Two Strings. And I think that you should go out and get lost in this movie. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.